And today we're going to be talking to you about social media. So I know that lots of people tend to talk to you and lecture you about how to use social media, what you can use, age limits and everything. But I feel like today we're going to talk to you about how to use it correctly during Ramadan. So this is the month of holiness. We're, using, we're doing this this month to um, <clears throat> get rewards and everything. So instead, we're going to tell you about how to use social media correctly. So... I was in mosque this week on Friday and my Molana was telling us about how um, you should not waste your time on social media, talking to friends. And instead, even even if you do things like sleeping throughout the day, you're stopping yourself from doing bad things. And instead, you're, you're, you're using your time um, in a way that even if you're not doing anything, you're still getting rewards for it. And so um, I would like to ask you, Maliha, like, how, do you know any ways that instead of using social media for chatting to friends, do you know ways that you can use it to help yourself get rewards? Yeah, I mean, you know, watching lectures, you know, online, like, it doesn't need to be, like, from a very, like, Muslim event. You can watch these lectures. You don't have to, like, spend your whole time watching them. But it's just, uh, just, like, um... Just keep track of what you what you're doing on social media. You know, just reflect back. What am I watching? Is this good? Or is this bad? And you know, if you if you're watching just random videos every day, nothing to do with Islam, you should maybe just rethink and then and just say, is this good? Am I spending my time wisely? And if you're not, then a social media can be good because it has loads of videos and like you don't have to go to to watch a lecture you can just go on youtube it's very easy and these lectures can just make you a better muslim you can rethink on yourself you can listen to these words you don't have to see hear them personally in real life you just need to hear them and just rethink on what you're what you are who you are by by also doing this you're not like being badly influenced social media is not only just about watching things it's about the people that you're around the things that you're saying etc it's a lot of things and so um and so if you this is a lot to do with your influences if you have bad influences it's you're not going to choose on a daily basis to go listen to mufti mank or like join on a live video for um islamic information or anything so um so this is why this is really important about who you talk with and what you're doing on it too as well. Yeah, it is because you need to I think what is the most important part whether you're using social media or not is your circle of friends because the people who you hang around about or hang around with they kind of determine who you are too. Like you your ways will become their ways, their ways will become your ways. If they're watching really bad things social media or they're mixing with the wrong people yeah. or bad influences themselves they're doing the wrong thing and yeah yeah and um i think social media you just having having a good circle of friends is really really important especially in your youth and teenage years because that's who you grow up to be that's the people who you spend your time with you laugh with you cry with you hug with and it's really important that you just make sure they're good friends, you know. They follow Islam and they do all the right things. And because if they're not the uh, the, it doesn't. They don't have to be perfect. But if they're trying, at least trying to be very good and very uh, religious, it means the stuff that they watch is not, you know, just also. If you if you also uh, do the right things on social media and everything, these people you could influence them into becoming better people as well. Um, so uh, my other guest Asia, do you have anything to say about this? Um, I feel like um, it's just like who you hang around with and maybe what they're watching or what they're um, or what they're reading, seeing, who they hang out with, and who they hang out with. Like they might affect like what you might be doing because who you hang around with is who you kind of become to be so um, I feel like it's just you have to think about the people you 
are with. So you just choose the right friends. Not only thinking about who you're with, thinking about what you're doing as well. What you're doing, if you post something bad on on social media, if you write something that you, you're not going to be able to erase that. Sure, you might be able to delete a comment, but you never know. People might have seen that. People might be able to share that. Once it's out there, it's out there. You're not going to be able to erase it straight like away. So not only is it the influences that you're under, it's also the infl- the things that you are influencing yourself as well. I think it's also really important for you to actually think what are you posting online, what are you watching, what what is happening to you because everything that you see and you hear, it kind of becomes a part of you. You say people, um, for example, there's like loads of videos with loads of swearing which is obviously a really bad influence for uh, um, people our age. And I think you j- we just need to think, what are we watching, you know? Because Why so are we watching this? Yeah, For what purpose are we having, are we getting, are we getting anything out of this or other than yeah. just going to ask? Yeah. yeah, and I think that's really important. Yeah. So um, not only is it the things that you watch, the things that you're around with, the things that you write, um, we're not only going to talk to you about the bad things about social media, there are good things as well, and... Not only is it just watching, if you go to watch, like, talks and stuff, it's it's other stuff, like, things things that you read, things that you post. If you post a good thing, like, if you post, it doesn't have to be a whole Mufti Mank live or anything, even if it's something small. If it's something small, it, will ch- it could change someone's entire choices. If they're going to go to read something bad, if they're going to go onto YouTube to watch something bad, if they see that, do you think they would change their choices? That's really what you're looking for. Are you influencing other people to do the right thing? Yeah, and also on social media, it isn't all just a bad thing because loads of people make the good um, choices and uh, actually think about what they're posting and they post really inspirational things. And um, I think that's really that could be really inspiring for people like us because there's not many people around us in this generation who are really dedicated because this generation isn't as great as before. You know, like we've we've been going the wrong ways. We're not wearing modest clothes. We're not reading reciting Quran. We don't know the prophet stories. It's all going a bit left, but. If this one person, if one person posts something good on social media, something religious, something that can make us think on our actions, that could, I think, really, really influence us. Because I know people on social media, not personally, but I look up to them and um, as like inspirational figures, and I try to be like like them because they recite every day, they pray five times a day they try to do the, try to be the best muslim so examples of people who um examples of things that um people do on social media like mufti mank you can easily just get him on youtube this is an example of something that you could do it doesn't like i said it doesn't have to be a whole like lecture about islamic ways but if you give it, if you just give um give people the right influence then it will be good i think because like there's obviously going to be a lot of people that post really bad things on the internet but if you're watching the good things and you're like blocking out all those like negative bad things that are um, on the internet then i feel like that it can really benefit you for example you're talking about mufti mink um like videos like there's a lot of people that watch them and they benefit a lot from them. And then on the other hand, there's these people on the internet that post like um, videos of loads of swearing and um, cursing and nobody is benefiting anything from watching those videos. It doesn't have to be just um, swearing or wrong language. It can be things like wearing the wrong clothes. People go on Instagram to boast about the things that they have, the things that they wear. But is that is that really what we should be doing? We should not be... be vain or envy us of other people or jealous of other people instagram is not what uh you're supposed to use that for you're not supposed to be flexing what you have you can use that for reaching other people an example of this is tiktok lots of people just do random things on tiktok just to get likes but 
what what are you getting out of doing music, dancing, things that are dangerous even, and getting a few likes for it, you know? Yeah, I think because at the end of the day, you don't answer to yourself, you answer to Allah who you're going to stand before in the day of judgment. And if we, we, I say this again and again, we need to actually think, what are we doing? Because it does affect us. It may not affect us in this life, but in the next it will of course affect us and the things we do now the thing the things that we wear the things that we act is really important because it all matters in the next life um i think this is a big problem especially with the youth because i know a lot of um people even muslims um we go on the internet and we see all this um all these videos and all these pictures and it's corrupting our brains making us feel much more insecure about ourselves and wanting to be like other people like um tiktokers or um people um on the internet and it's really affecting um our dean and we just need to um stop trying to be like those people who are not maybe their lives aren't how it seems to be on the internet also going back to the fact that people post dangerous things for likes are they are they real or are people just liking what they see for mere seconds are these people like like they people make negative comments people judge on every little thing that you do but some people they just wouldn't say that like face to face which means that people use social media as a way to kind of mask who they are on the inside it's all it's all like people can have a completely different character um behind the screen and in real life people could be a shy person who people don't even know their name and on on online they could be um they could be the biggest like cyber bully or something it's completely fake people use social media as a cloak to hide and muslims instead of using instead of doing negative comments or posting unimportant things that will not help anybody you should be focusing on the things that you have the things that Allah has blessed you with and you should be thanking Allah for the things that, that you have instead of using the things that he's given you for the for wrong you should be counting the be- blessings that you have and you should be happy that you have been blessed with them yeah i also think that you should be just focusing on yourself because we in this generation we are surrounded by people making the wrong decisions people wearing unmodest clothes people cursing people saying bad things and i think that just could be that's very effective because we're growing up with all this bad things around us and also for example like having the perfect body or uh, like a thin waist or whatever it's just like all this uh, plastic surgery and unhealthy diets and things like that it's just it's just uncalled for because Allah has made us like that. Why are we trying to change it? That's accept who you are. I say alhamdulillah for what Allah has made you. So um, do you have anything to say about this, Asya? Um Yeah, I feel like um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has um, granted us a lot of um, benefits in our life that um, we, can, we can take advantage of and make sure that we um, <coughs> live a good modest modest like um and nurturing life but i feel like there's a lot of people who um if they do if they're like for example they might post something on the internet not wearing modest clothing and then um like a muslim might just scroll upon that and just maybe feel like oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasn't given me the perfect body i want to look like them or um they they're so much prettier than me but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has never said that you can't look after yourself. He's just like, he's given us like so much um, benefits in our life that, you know, a lot of Muslims um, are like really wealthy. They've got good health, um, but they're just doing the bad, doing bad things. And um, like, uh, you should take care of yourself, but you should do it in the most Islamic way as possible. There are also lots of hadiths about uh, looking at the people above, uh, below us, which is the whole concept of Ramadan. We are we are fasting to feel the way that people who are maybe less blessed than us f- 
feel and we are supposed to we're supposed to be feeling empathy for them and this is to encourage us to do the right thing there are hadith saying about look at the people below you and see how, how you should be so grateful about how much that you have rather than looking at the people above you and feeling envy so um this is uh this is why people shouldn't use social media to show off what they have this is this is so that people social media should be used for people telling people to help the people who don't have what they what we have yeah and also many muslims that are n- making the wrong decisions they say that oh it's so hard to do this it's so hard to pray five times a day it's so hard to recite quran it's hard so to hard fast to, yeah yeah hard to wake up in the morning to have yeah. sari but it's just it's islam is so easy it's it's our second nature it's such an easy um religion to follow yet this generation we made it hard for no reason because you say going back to the prophet's time everything was easy he he was the most perfect man and life was really easy you know we had all these rights every everyone was happy but now this there's i'm talking about the new generation this new generation has i don't know what's happened but it's just there's lots of bad influence and that's really it's just unnecessary islam is so easy yet we're making it so hard um i feel and also um people um go to umrah and instead of taking pictures of the kaaba um and of like other religious buildings um in the area they take pictures of the shopping malls things that they're buying yeah things that they're buying and just they've gone there for one they've gone there for one thing to go and pray to allah and um ask for forgiveness and instead of doing that they've gone and they're shopping for things which is totally fine but people want to remember the the fact that they've gone to umrah and to hajj but it's it's so bad to see that people instead of instead of taking pictures to remind themselves of how they felt when they were circling the kaaba they're taking pictures of things that they've bought when when that money could be used for zakat that money could be used for helping the people who aren't able to go to umrah or hajj because they don't have the money people using that money to to buy new phones to take the pictures or to buy clothes that are not modest people might buy jubbas or something like that just to go to hajj and then they're not really they're just ruining the rewards the immense rewards that we get by by doing things like taking pictures um etc of the wrong things they're doing the wrong things when they're supposed to be doing something i also think that people need to realize that money is just a material and we are basically just made out of material we are made out of clay and like money can be burnt in fire we can be burnt in jahannam and we need to we just really need to just keep on thinking back what are we doing is this going to benefit me in the next life or is it going to be my doom in the next life we just need to keep on asking ourselves those questions yeah so putting yourself out there can cause fitna you can you can get the evil eye people can cause and en- you can get envy from people etc this is like this is not what you're supposed to be doing social media is not for putting yourself out there it's for making it so that other people can see what you're doing and be encouraged um also um a lot of like as you were saying social media is very fake and um this life is very real so instead of living um like a dream in a sense and showing off to everybody and making people think that you've got a perfect life but instead you're very unhappy and you're maybe not following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you just need to like live in the real world and stop trying to be this fake person so um yeah because when you're when you're faking who you really are like i said social media can just be used as a cloak it just to hide who you really are it's completely fake it's like encouraging people to do the wrong thing and i feel that that then that's just the the energy of the people who are trying to do the right thing is just going to waste yeah. and so and so um people can't be themselves online they can't show who they really are but 
like like going back to Allah made you perfect. You don't have to be a completely different person. You are who you are. Just embrace it. Yeah, no one is perfect. No one was perfect except the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I think um, many people do want to be perfect, but I don't think that's possible. But it is possible to just keep on improving yourself, trying to be perfect, following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, uh, following his sunnah, praying five times, reciting Quran. And obviously Ramadan is here. It's the month of mercy. It's the month of cure. We can. This is the best cure, you know. We can pray five times. Our reward will be much greater than in any other month, I think. And I think this month we can really just try to improve ourselves to make us as as the the best Muslims we can be ourselves. Um, yeah, because Ramadan is um, a, a beautiful time where you just try to be your better self and you get so many rewards from doing this. And you can't blame... Um, shaitan for all your bad deeds during ramadan because he is locked up so if you're doing anything bad during ramadan he is not accountable for that so you must always like watch what you're doing even not in ramadan and you just need to make sure you're doing the right things and you can't be perfect but you must keep trying to be a better muslim and to better yourself in the future inshallah no one, like like you guys have said, no one is perfect, but that doesn't mean that you talk, you complain about your your uh, problems. You don't say, you, you complain that you're not perfect, that you're not as good as you, sh- that you want to be. But, um, but this, this is, this is not what, this is not what we're supposed to be doing. We're not supposed to be complaining about who we are or what we have. We're supposed to be, again, we're supposed to be so grateful that we even have what we have. Allah, Allah is watching. Um, Allah can see what we're doing. Can, he, he can see that we're doing things wrong or right. And if you're doing it right, you get reward. Allah is watching. No one is perfect. So even if you do do not like, if even if you don't like like what you are, just embrace it. If you don't like what you are, change it by doing by by doing things that will that praising Allah. That way, you can make you feel yourself feel way better inside. You don't have to have other people's reassurance that you're pretty or that you have money um also like for anybody who's like been doing the wrong things and they've known they've been doing it and they've been saying oh maybe next ramadan or maybe next year i'll stop try set a goal for yourself and stop changing it try think like oh i'm gonna do it this ramadan i'm going to not even this ramadan doing it today this week this day this month i'm going to try to do it try to stop whatever i'm doing or try to do something else because i want to make my iman stronger and i want to be a better muslim i think also um many muslims are held um back by their past sins but we all need to realize our past sins no matter how big they may be they're in the past. There's nothing we can do about it whatsoever except from ask for forgiveness. And also, we just... Allah is focusing on what who you are right now. If you're a bad Muslim or if you're a good Muslim. And I think that's just really important. We try to... We just forget about the past. Obviously, not forget uh, completely. We should learn from our mistakes. But from those mistakes, we should not be disencouraged. We should actually be encouraged. I want to be a better Muslim. I want to be, I want to be, we can set ourselves, God, we say, I want to be inspirational figures or role models for other people and really help other people that were in my situation, you know, with um, past sins and being discu- feeling discouraged. I think that's really important too. Yeah, because um, this um, Ramadan, I feel like we shouldn't try to better ourselves, but try to help other people because this youth have been very corrupted with the social media, as we've been saying, and they've been trying to be like um, other um, celebrities or um, or other people. So we should really be trying to help not just ourselves, but other people and try to make their, their and your iman stronger. 
Yeah. Uh, also, social media can bring along so many ills. Not only just not only just uh, people wanting more, people being prideful, people being sad that they are not like, people being angry. This can bring on so many things. Not only is social media about wanting, uh, about having like um, what you want, you can also get things that that you do not want, such as pride. You can be so prideful without realizing. You can be so boastful about what you have, what you what you like, what you get for your birthday, things like that. We shouldn't even be celebrating birthdays. You never saw the Sahaba Rajulahu Anhum ever celebrating Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's birthday. You didn't see his family. You didn't even see him celebrating his own birthday. Um, so things like that. You should you should not be prideful. You should not be angry. Along along with um, these you can also be cyber bullied as well i feel like that is a really important topic as well um that we should that we should be really careful of we can do it so easily like i said like we were talking about earlier bad comments dislike not liking um a photo or a video even if it's something that you don't like you don't have to you don't have to share that with everybody else everybody's entitled to opinion but that doesn't mean that it has to be everybody else's Um, when you were talking about birthdays, um, if in a sense you're kind of celebrating and you're putting it on the internet, um, the you're celebrating your birth, and you would never be there without your mother and your parents. So, in a sense, you're you're putting this on the internet and you're celebrating yourselves, and you might be doing bad stuff during your holiday, and just think about your parents and the things they had to go through just so you could be born. Yeah, and I think you should always think um, mainly about your mother because remember, your Jenna mother is underneath your mother's. Yeah, family. and also your mother comes three times before your father, and that's a big Jenna lies at your mother's feet. And I think just, I don't know, every day even, just thank her for what she's done. You know, you may get, you guys may have an argument between your parents, but if your parents are in the wrong, that doesn't mean you shout at them, you um, curse at them, just try in loving ways. But mostly they are, or most of the time they are, right? They, they're your parents. They know you. And I think it's just really important. We need to accept what they say you know like if they say don't do this uh, don't betray my trust betraying your trust don't don't um don't betray don't overstep the boundaries that yeah. they have put down um also going back to about uh pride and arrogance you can be so prideful that you think that you can argue with your parents about something that you think is right but honestly your parents have the experience your parents might have done the exact same thing with their own parents but but they know what is the correct thing and it um um even an atom's weight of arrogance can stop you from entering jannah you might be you might be an amazingly big um islamic influencer or you might be really pious but even an atom's weight of arrogance can stop you from entering jannah and i was told the other day that although jannah is underneath your mother's feet the key to the uh, to the keys to the doors is in your father's hands, so that's really important as well. Don't you don't need to argue with your parents about every little thing. Remember that. Remember that they're your parents. Remember your modesty and that that you need to be even if you think that you're right, be modest about it. And you don't need to shout. You can simply just talk, just like we're talking now. We can you can negotiate or find something that you guys can both agree on. Yeah, and um, one of like the best Muslims are the people who actually really respect those who they grow up with. For example, their parents. The people that respect their parents, we can you can just tell they're good people because their their parents come first, their mother comes first, and then their father. And if they don't respect them, then what's gonna what are they gonna treat others like? And then, and I think respecting your parents should always come first. No one should pass your parents your parents are everything basically um there's like a lot of people and they give more respect to their friends than their parents which i think is totally wrong because if like um you don't give respect to your parents then um and you're just giving respect to your friends then who else are you giving respect for because um these 
people, these par- these people that were in your life that have raised you, um, and that has made sure that you're okay, and that has tried to set you on the right path, and you're trying to go another way from that, and you're shouting at them, and you're being very disrespectful f- to them. I feel like why why would you be doing that if you really like love your parents because a lot of people they say oh I love my parents and then they go and shout to their parents the next day and the parents should be setting boundaries or even if they do and you're not listening to them um and I think it's very important for you to be um respecting and um showing your love to your parents like even just like a small act like opening the door or making like breakfast, making for them, breakfast for helping them, them make iftar, helping them, especially this Ramadan. Like that is, there's a lot of stress that they're going through. Um, with Just with COVID ending, fasting, COVID ending. Um, so it makes a big difference if you help them. Also, social media can help you forget the real world. It can make it can like make you forget that your family is the most important people to you. Um, it can make you forget about Allah. It can make you forget that you're that right now you're on earth. You won't be going to Jannah if you're gonna if you're not gonna do the right things. And I feel like this is really important to remember. And um, pleasure. Of, um, there's a hadith, and it says that the pleasure of Allah is in the pe- pleasure of the pe- of your parents. So even if you smile at your parents and they smile back, or you say Jazakallah, or you help them with something. This this could make it so much more different. This could just get you one more step closer to Jannah. It's really important that you do, even if it's something small, that you do things to help your parents. Yeah, it's not always about how big you may you may buy them a whole house, but it doesn't really matter if you buy them a whole house. It, what matters is the, the thought. It's th- the thought that counts. yeah, your intentions, like the little things, and I think the little things are the. So, like they form the tower, if that makes sense. Um, Each house has a foundation of bricks. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, your parents—they've done a lot for you in your life. And then um, you're going and on the internet, and you're doing all these haram things. Like, um, what this is not point? what your parents birthed you for. Yeah, many people that um, the parents might support them in doing this, but nothing is really helping you or your parents in that case while you're doing all these things nothing is coming out of it you're not getting closer to islam or your family so there's no point in actually doing all these things if it's just making other people happy and not yourself you should focus on the real things in your family and your conduct with others and instead of doing a post on tiktok or instagram even youtube you should focus on the things that you're doing with other people. Even if it isn't your family, even if it's your friends. If your friend is going through a hard time right now, would you rather be doing a post? And not only that, there are people who would who would make fun of these people. They could be posting about them. Even if it's your intention to help them, it may not. It may not. People might want you to help them rather than getting likes on a post. They would want you to t- they want someone to talk to, they want someone to relate to and you could be that person, even if you're just listen listening. You could be that person who just comforts them, who they weren't by their side when they're sad. Yeah, and I also think that going outside with a smile on your face and laughing, I think that's really important because you never, you never know what that one smile could do to another person's day, because they may having some be having some a really really bad day, a really bad week really bad yeah i don't know but your smile just smile, warms up your heart yeah it's just it's so little yet it can it's so effective it can be so much it can mean a lot um yeah it's like just there's a lot of people and they they're very upset with themselves maybe uh, having depression or anxiety and seeing all these people on the internet living really um supposing to be happy and perfect lives but uh makes them feel you know maybe even worse thinking oh i don't have these type of things but little do they know that all these people on the internet probably don't have these things either yeah, it's probably all fake. fake and like like you said it's like a mask for what they really have is probably the same as you not <coughs> saying that anything's wrong with what you have because you're if when you have depression and anxiety it's a terrible thing um 
and I know it's very hard to like go away from it but um, a lot of people who have depression and anxiety don't know the things that they have in the present because they're thinking about the future or the past or social media which is social not real. social media yeah um, and the things that they have that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, has given them um, is more than enough also the fact that these people might have depression or anxiety because of the things that they've seen on the internet because of the things that they've pressed on because of the things that um because of the things that they've seen so instead of having to share the things that you've done good making other people maybe feel bad or less do it do it but do it in private you don't need to share with the world i did this for my mom today i did that for my dad today i smiled at someone today do it in private and you can it doesn't you don't have to have everybody um everybody appreciate what you're doing you and that person or the thing that you did it for you you can be happy with them yeah it's it's all that matters like going back to the intention your intention is all that matters if i did something good and i told the whole world about it say oh i gave a cup of water to my mom without her asking i'll tell the whole world i don't think that's having a good intention i don't if if someone did that i I wouldn't think that they did it, did the action just out of kindness. I think they just do it for the likes of other people, for other people to think that they're good. But what they need to realize is they need to be good. It's all that they are being seen in the eyes of Allah. They, they shouldn't care about no one else. It's just Allah. That's all that matters. Allah, Allah, Allah. Um, and also, um. When you like hear all these sheikhs and their talks, um, it's they always talk about maybe their own experiences or somebody else's experiences, and whether it's good or bad, they're not doing it out of pride or um, or just trying to show off. They're doing it to help others, and I feel like you can like share your experiences or maybe say you've done something really good or maybe express that you haven't done something um, as good as maybe people thought you might have done. But when you're like telling people this stuff, maybe that maybe they're doing maybe they were doing or are doing the same thing that you you were or are doing. So maybe they feel oh I'm not the only one, and maybe they want to like maybe ask for help or ask if they can get any guidance to stop themselves from doing all these things again it's it's about uh, praise and reward from Allah not from the people of of the world the people of people can uh, like your posts as much as they want but in the end if you're doing something bad it's not gonna it's you're not gonna be going to Jannah with that um, Allah will question your te- intentions so whether or not you're doing it just to um, help people um, Allah will know what you're doing it for so you need to make sure that even if it's something that might not be the best make sure that your intention is in the right place and I also think that when people post um, I don't know a picture or a video on social media all they think about is, will it get likes, will it not? Is this a good angle, is this not? But what they really should be thinking about is, will this get me to Jannah or will this get me to Jahannam? It's one of those two. Because um, what's it called? it's it's really important to just think, is this Dean... Is, is this helping yeah. you? Is this helping me to get where I want to be? Everybody wants to go to Jannah. Nobody wants to go to Jahannam or suffer punishment from Allah. That's why, even even if you think it's it's not going to do anything, if it's the wrong thing, it it's gonna it's gonna um, it's uh, you should be thinking: Is this going to get me a reward? Yeah, I was reading um, some hadiths the other day, and it was saying you don't even want to have a second or even a millisecond in Jahannam because it will feel like a thousand years because. When you when you go there, you're going to think about all the things that you've done wrong, and all the bad things that you could have prevented from you doing that. And I think everybody who wants to go to Jannah, everybody who wants to go to Jannah, will be um, trying to do the right things, or or, d- or or are doing bad things and trying to correct themselves. You can't be 
wishing for Jannah and knowing that you're doing the wrong things and you don't have no intentions of stopping or um, or continuing. And also our religion teaches us to um, travel in this world as though we are travel, a traveller, meaning that we didn't come from here and also we will not stay here. We will leave for here just like we'll, we'll go back to where we came from. And this is just temporary. This life is just temporary. What matters is the next, the next life. And um, we just need to just think: What are we doing in this life? What ha- what have we made this life for us? Is it good or is it bad? But loads, of, loads, and loads, and loads of people are making the wrong decisions just because I think. If when one person posts something on social media, another may be encouraged to do the same thing, whether it be a good post or a bad post in terms of Islam, halal or halal. And um, the, uh, many more people keep on doing it, but I think it's just really important to just restrain yourself. Just don't look at that post. Don't spend one second looking at it because that's not going to help you in any way possible. Um, this is also going to the fact that people people wasting their time, people go to Darawi, we're supposed to be doing 20 rakats, people are doing eight, and then they're leaving. To do what? To go to go post something on social media, to go get maybe a few minutes worth more sleep, to get something to eat. Um, what is what is the point in fact? You fasted for, for a whole day. Surely you can wait a few more minutes. Um, um this instead of going and leaving at just eight regards, you should be paying the full twenty, doing dhikr, you should be um you should be doing going to the mosque to pray. Um I know that there are lots of masjids, even for women as well, doing Dorawi. You should if you can, even if it's not at the masjid, you should try and do it in a jamaat, maybe with other people. And um this is this is really important that you do it, um, even if it isn't with other I think because a lot of people, they're trying to follow all the latest trends and saying, I don't care if I miss Tarawih or I don't care if I miss um, Fajr. I don't care, I want to do this. Even if it doesn't help me or even if it doesn't get loads of likes or loads of comments, I want to be like this person or this person because I feel like their life has more meaning than mine and I want to be just like them. So a lot of people are like missing... um, they're like not even in not even just in Islam like many of their religious actions no matter what religion they are they're missing a lot of it because they want to do the stuff that the people on social media are doing and um, the people on social media are trying to be like um, and I think it's really bad that you're putting all these silly trends and all these bad stuff instead of your religion. Also, um, I think that. It doesn't really matter if you're praying. It just matters about the intention. If you're praying with no intention whatsoever about getting reward, I think it just doesn't matter. And also, when like some people pray and look forward to finishing the prayer and carrying on whatever they were doing, I don't know, um, going through TikTok, watching YouTube, scrolling through Instagram. But there's some people who just want the prayer to be over some people who look forward to the prayer being over and some people looking forward to the reward that they will get. And there's a huge difference between those two people. The people that were looking f- um, looking forward for the reward, they will surely go into Jannah because that is the most important. The most important part, I think, of in your life is seeking Allah's pr- um, approval. Um, and like when people are praying salah, many of them just want to. Not even if they're going on the internet after, they just want to finish the salah. They think, um, oh, it's turakat, it's fine. I'll, I'll just I'll finish it later. And they postpone it, and then it gets to dhuhr, and then they say, oh, I'll do I'll do fajr after, or I'll do each after, and it will get to the point where they will not pray salah for a whole day and. They'll just be on the internet or they'll just still be doing what they're doing. So um, I feel like um, people need to recognise um, and make sure they have the right intention throughout the whole day. Even if you're not praying and maybe you're you're like starting to pray, just have that intention. Always think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you're doing things. 
Yeah, so you should try to minimize your time on social media and focus on doing salah or dhikr instead. Um, so a really good way of doing this, it might sound a bit silly, but you should try and make a timetable of the things that you're doing.